Hello, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burke, and this right here is where I enlisted the help of Jared to talk about horrible as seen on TV products. Now, you guys seem to want more, you seem to absolutely love it, and I needed more help if I wanted to do a new part for you, so here. Is Courtney from Landon Productions. Now, Courtney and Landon have their very own news show called Landon Productions, where they cover all kinds of trending and important topics every single day of the week. So, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest and craziest news, then head on over right now. That's an order. I'm not asking you, and subscribe. But right now, I'm gonna steal Courtney for this video we're doing now because this is a top 10 horrible as seen on TV products, part two. Okay, ready? All right. Ready, let's, let's do, do it. it. <laughs> Coming in at number 10 spot, Comfort Wipe. Okay, this has got to be one of the most ridiculous inventions I have ever seen in my entire life. So basically this is a product that you use when you're going to the bathroom. So the infomercial for this product informs us that for the last 100 years, we've been using toilet paper all wrong. With all the bunching and all the folding we've been doing. But luckily now we have the Comfort Wipe. Some of the many positive attributes of this product goes as followed. It will extend your reach a full 18 inches. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Why would you possibly need an extra 18 inches? I just, I, I don't get it. Then here's a great selling feature. There's a button so you can release the toilet paper once you've done your business. A woman in the infomercial says the comfort wipe allows you to maintain your dignity. In what way? If I ever use this product, that would be the end. This is just so useless and awkward. I mean, I get it if you're older and you don't have full range of your motion anymore, then it could be justified. But in any other scenario, no. Coming in at the number 9 spot now, we have the Cyber Clean. Cool name, very futuristic. Now, the idea of the Cyber Clean is that this small part of green goo will clean every piece of tech that you put your grubby little fingers on. Phones, TV remotes, and keyboards can all have those bits of dirt and grease sucked off them by covering them with the Cyber Clean. Well, the good news about this product is that at first, it kind of looks like it works the first time. After that, though, the goo starts to harden, and nobody really knows how to clean the goo when it's covered in all that dirt you've just pulled off. They either need to scrap this idea totally or make the cyber clean cleaner. And then I guess I'll have to make the, the cyber clean cleaner cleaner. And you know what? Just yeah, just scrap it. Terrible idea. In at number eight, booty pop. So here we have something that's pretty crazy. Ladies, if you want a bigger booty, you have to go do some squats. Do not buy a pair of padded underwear. You can tell that some of these women just have padded butts. It just doesn't look natural. If you bought this product, you would definitely need to wear it with jeans because in leggings, you'd just be able to see the full outline of your fake butt. Not cute. Ladies, be happy with what you've got. Next up at number seven, we have the wearable towel. This product solves a problem that doesn't really exist at all. The problem of wrapping a towel around you when you get out of the shower. Big problem. They say it keeps you totally covered, just like a towel does, and then it lets you move your arms around, just like a towel does. This is really only good for people who don't know how to wrap a towel around them. Just Google it, or ask anyone. Everyone can do it. Now the best part of the wearable towel for me is how in the commercial, they say it's absolutely perfect for wearing when family and friends come over to your house. And perfect to wear with family and friends. What? Why are you still wearing a towel when your family and friends are over? Come on, you're having a barbecue. Put the towel down, just get dressed. In at number six, Ab Hanser. This is full on proof that appearances can be deceiving. So apparently you strap this contraption onto your stomach and within minutes you will have a six pack. Yay for abs of plastic. Forget about taking the time to go to the gym. That is for chumps. Now you can just eat a bag of chips on the couch, but no worries, you just pop on the ab hanser and you're good to go. But honestly guys, this just looks ridiculous and all you're doing is lying to yourself. These abs aren't permanent and they are probably gonna go away within a couple minutes. All right, halfway now at the number five spot and we have the shake weight. Yes, the classic. It's probably one of the most famous, terrible as seen on TV products, thanks to South Park's parody of it. Now even when you get your mind out of the gutter on this one, it's still a really bad product. Product. Apparently, by shaking the shake weight, you can sculpt your arms, tone your body, and lose weight. Amazing, right? We'll even pay return shipping. Whew, that's it. I always thought that required actual exercise, but no. You just need to lightly shake a weight for a few minutes a day. Amazing. I was actually going to do an impression of someone with a shake weight there, but yeah. I know what the editors are like. I'm not going to fall for that. In 
number four, Titty Bear. Now, this ad has gone viral over Facebook lately because of how ridiculous it is. For a second, let's just try to forget the name because that's just a whole other topic. This bear just so happens to be saving women's chests everywhere. No more pain from seatbelts. You can easily snap it onto your seatbelt, and if you act now, you can get it for the low, low price of $14.95. Now, I admit, it's cute and all, and it could be handy. But you lost me with the name, guys. Like, call it the comfort bear or something like that, then it can be justified. But by calling it the titty bear, you're taking advantage of this poor innocent little bear and turning him into a creep. All right, at the number three spot now, guys, we have the facial flex. Guys, this is honestly one of the weirdest commercials I've ever seen in my whole life. The facial flex was supposed to give your mouth a workout and give it a youthful, fresh kind of look. I've never even used it once, and I can already tell you that it's not true. That doesn't work. It's a bad product, but the commercial just gets so strange. At one point, yeah, I don't know. You guys check it out. You can do other things. You can put lotion on your body. You can make what? There is no rhyme or reason to this commercial. There is only soft Italian opera music and a strange woman on the edge of insanity. And thanks for watching. We'll be right back. I will pass on the facial flex, thank you. And at number two, poo trap. Fur baby parents unite. Come one, come all. We now have a contraption to help you with your dog walk woes. Walking your dog can sometimes be tedious and to make matters worse when your dog, uh, well, you know, does its business, you need to clean up after it. Well, your prayers have been answered. Here we have the poo trap. And yes, this is just as ridiculous as it sounds. Your poor dog needs to walk around with this bag attached to their butts. I mean, come on. That's just degrading. And I don't want to get graphic, but uh, sometimes dogs, they have diarrhea, and you know, yeah, you know where I'm going with this one. That's just gonna be a big old mess. There's actually an infomercial for this on YouTube called Magic Poop Collector, and it's pretty hilarious. There's a 1-800 number and everything. Poo Trap is available at all Walmart locations. Coming soon to a pet store near you. And finally, at number one, we have my personal favorite, the Picnic Pants. Sometimes, guys, I'm not sure if I love or hate the picnic pants, so I'll just let you decide. The picnic pants are a normal looking pair of jeans with an extra piece of fabric in the middle added on so that you can now sit down and eat off the clothes you're wearing. Didn't know that was a problem to begin with. Now, the downside to all this is that you spend the rest of the day afterwards just walking around with greasy jeans covered in your own food and just looking like a general mess. But on the other hand, the upside is that um, you, uh, you don't need plates. I guess, because plates are a big problem in the world. Oh, plates. Well, we got through it, Courtney, in the end. Yes, we did. Didn't we? <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind doing part three, actually. I know, I think we're a good team. It worked out. Part three. Yes. Maybe. Well, <laughs> thanks so much to Courtney for helping me out in this video. If you want to see more of her and Landon talking all about the news, where can these guys go? You guys can go to Landon Production. Yes, and subscribe. I'm already yes. subscribed. Yeah. I'm, I'm a good boy. <laughs> My name is Danny Burke. My name is Court McGinley. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.